Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. Let me make sure I have audio. <clears throat> Hello everybody. We have audio. Alright. Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. <laughs> Hold that thought. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. We had a delivery from Walmart figures as soon as I go live. Let's call a few people out. She'll settle down in a minute. Avid Fisherman was first. Avid says, Troy ought to, be, ought to be safe as long as Stan's not driving in the same game. You got that right. Ernie Brown, Chris Everett. There's my friend Dan. Good to see you, Dan. Appreciate you coming by. He says he's coming in on break. Uh, Steve Locke, Thunderstruck. Martin, good to see you, Martin. Martin ought to be getting on out of the UK and coming to the US to go to CatCon soon. My friend Art, hello, Art. Scrolling down. Kelly Bullock, I hope you can drive a pickup better than you can drive a semi. Well, I probably drive a game truck better than you drive in real life. Uh, let's see. Going down, going down. Good to see you, Mr. Kelly. Uh, yeah, sir. What's that yapping? York's the terrorist? No, it's uh, weenie dogs. Two weenie dogs. Alvin Lewis. Good to see you, my friend, Alvin Lewis. All uh, right, I'm trying to make sure I get there. Buck Williams, killing it, watching it. So, <clears throat> Buck Williams has been saying that in my stream probably for a year. And I'm trying to figure out what the devil he's talking about. Well, what he's talking about is he's got a split screen where he's watching the stream and playing the game at the same time. So, when he says killing it and watching, that's what he means. Uh, let's see. That's my buddy Lisa Elliott. Good to see you, Lisa. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so, this is the mod. And this is an added sound effect. tell my wife all the time I want to get one of them for my wheelchair so I can blow it in a grocery store. She tells me she'll leave me there. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I don't think that that will probably work out my favor, but that don't mean I won't do it anyway, just to try it. She's going to look up one day and I'm going to have one on my wheelchair. Sure enough. All right. So, let's talk about the game. That's <laughs> pretty funny, isn't it? I like it. <clears throat> so, let's talk about this game. <clears throat> uh, I've been doing quite a bit of stuff with this game since the last time we played it. If you look over there to the right, and on the TV, the chat may be blocking it. But I have made almost $500,000. I've been driving this truck... <clears throat> Four or five days a week 
all over the place. <laughs> she says, did I add a roll cage to this truck? Well, so I've been driving it because I've been trying to build up a garage. So I had one garage <clears throat> that I put together when I first started the game. And uh, <clears throat> this is it right here. And it's full. It's got five slots. So I have filled this garage capacity. These are AI drivers. I've actually got an AI driver in my truck. <clears throat> uh, but he's fixed to lose that truck, so I'm taking it back and buying him a truck. Good to see you, Tony. Good to see you. Susquehanna Stan. <clears throat> Smash up another truck. <laughs> So all these guys are AI drivers and they make money throughout the game. They just they just drive either while I'm playing the game or not and they bring in income. And this guy right here has got my truck. We fixed to take it back from him. I'm fixed to buy him a truck. But the garage is full. So I need another garage. And that's what today's stream is about. We are going to take a drive in this pickup from Dallas to Houston. I'm going to go buy a garage. And then I'm going to buy a truck, or, and I'm going, to assign a, I'm going to move a truck around, and I'm going to assign a driver. Uh, that's what we're doing. And then we're going to drive down to Galveston Island, take a tour of Galveston Island in this truck, and then we're going to take a ferry ride across from Galveston Island to Port Bolivar. Port Bolivar is a special place for me because that's where my grandmother lives. So we just gonna we just gonna go for a drive today and let y'all look at this mod. This is a downloaded mod. Somebody made this. Not the game company, but somebody did make this. I'm gonna buy an 18 wheeler, yes. He said drive slow. <laughs> Alright, so let's get in the game and we'll look at the mod. Somebody made this mod. Hey, <laughs> you got, I ain't hired nobody named Stan. All right, let's look at the truck really quick and get a view here. It's a nice, they did a nice job. Somebody made this mod. It's, it's a nice looking truck. Uh, so, and it's got uh, several different cam look viewing cameras, and this is the viewing camera we're going to use today. This is the uh, kind of the uh, windshield uh, cam. And I'm going to use this one because it gives you a little bit more. Uh, A view of things. And we're going. We're going now. We're going to get here. If I can figure out how to do this, we are going to. Uh, we're going to rest and take a day trip. I want y'all to be able to see. Okay, let's look inside the truck. The dashboard and everything's a little blurry on this mod. Remember, this is made by an individual. I think they wanted to spend more time on the outside of the truck than they did really on the inside of the truck. So it's a little blurry, but it serves purpose, and it drives well, and it sounds good. Give you a little day shot. I'm going to try not to put it off the road, no. I, I'm, I'm really going to try to drive it correctly. All right, let's get, let's get this show on the road. Let me get my map drawn up here. We're going we're gonna to skirt down 45 here. 
uh, in a moo moo. Yeah, the moo moo wagon. That's what I'm calling this truck. Oh, uh, let me see. Where am I at? All right, I want to go down 45, and we're going to go all the way down through Huntsville. And we're going to Houston, and then we're going to pick up 69 here, and we're going to go right here to this garage. So I'm going to set a waypoint, and that's the garage we're going to be buying. All right, this truck runs fast, so this won't be a long, this won't take long to get to Houston, I can assure you that. Y'all gonna get a kind of a bird's eye view of, of uh, kind of the scenery. So I have already went, I've already made the drive to Houston and went down there because I want to do a test run and uh, so I have already seen the garage but we're going to go show y'all the garage and we're going to buy the garage. I have not purchased the garage and while I was down there I decided well I'm going to drive over to Galveston Island. I'm partial to that part of the world uh, and I had some good childhood memories of that part of the world so I decided that I'd drive over to Galveston Island, and when I drove over to Galveston Island, I seen the ferry landing. And I thought, well, can you get on the ferry? Uh, I drove down to ferry landing. Lo and behold, I was able to get on the ferry and ride it over to Galveston Island. Oh, big slim. I ride it from Galveston Island, Port Bolivar. That's a trip I have taken many times. Get ready to turn right. So I thought, well, what a neat way to do a little stream for everybody and still play this game and do a little something different. Steve Adams. Good to see you, Steve Adams. We ain't no big hurry. We just try and take our time. I'm gonna need to pause every once in a while. I gotta adjust. I got a little bit of a hip's been giving me a little bit of trouble. I'm I got slept on it wrong. Thank God for a reclining seat, right? All right, let's get this Joker on 45 and get on out of Dallas. We're gonna set. We're, we're gonna set the cruise about 60 miles an hour. Cause we ain't no big hurry. And I want y'all to be able to see the sights, and I want to be able to read chat. If I drive 75, I ain't gonna be able to read nothing. Get the cruise control turned on here. All right, we're cruising. Uh, no, it 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 actually this truck actually tops out at seventy four. Uh, as far as I as, as high as I've had it, I think Susquehanna Stan got his truck up to eighty. Go ninety? No, I ain't going no ninety. This is a sightseeing trip. He said, go dining. You always wanted to have a wreck. We'll, we'll get into the... I'll gun it when we get to Huntsville.
way the girls wear their jeans. Shame on you, Steve Adams. <laughs> well, I think that stream Saturday night was pretty funny. Oh, Steve got a taste of Stan's driving. I was just there to preach to the girls. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, Lisa. That's as fast as this truck will run. I've got it to the floor. I know it should probably run a lot faster than that, but... said do a burnout. I don't know if this truck will burn out. We find out. Let's see if it will. Nope. But it sure gets up to speed fast. Yeah. I know you're not innocent, Albert Lewis. <laughs> I started driving this view, it gives a little bit more of a wide angle. And you can kind of see some of the sights. Sure to flip over. I know you know it'll flip over. Hello, Dallas. How are you? You probably rolled it twice already. Stan's driving skills leave something to be desired. He said, driving Miss Moo Moo. <laughs> I would imagine that I have probably driven, I've been doing contract work, I probably have driven five trips over 2,000 miles. That's a lot of drive. I've been trying to get money together, get me a little bit more, more garages and a little bit bigger fleet. So, they're coming out with an Oklahoma map. We'll be purchasing that. I found out today that the Hunter Call of the Wild is going to be coming out with a 
a new DLC, a new weapons pack. I'll be getting that. And we got some other stuff coming up. I'm gonna play some some wreck fast and we're gonna keep we're gonna keep on track with the wrestling. I gotta get spend some time this week making my next wrestler for the catfish community. Yeah, we need to hunt soon. Yeah. Uh Stan, I sent you a uh sent you a request to join the private uh, chat voice on Discord. So I've been working on Discord today. Uh, trying to learn how to run the doggone thing. So I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a Discord later. Oh, uh, you'll be able to see photographs, and if you have Discord, if you download Discord, you'll be able to uh, send messages, chat, voice chat, etc., etc. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and I may, if I get some people to join Discord, uh, I may do a uh, live. Uh, on Discord sometime, and uh, about it actually being on YouTube, just for fun. I gotta watch what I'm doing here, and uh, maybe we'll have a an opportunity for people to come up on and talk in voice. Yeah, we need to get together and hunt. We do, do need to do that. Let's try to do that this week, Stan. I, uh, maybe we can do that a little on uh, Friday or Saturday night. Well, Saturday night's not going to be good for me. I have something to do on Sunday. But, unless we do it earlier. We have made it to the big city of Lufkin. I like to took the wrong exit. You can. We have a little bit. <coughs> Got an exit up here. Uh, sometime we have a little bit more of an adult conversation <laughs> on Discord. Keep right and then turn right. Yeah, ain't that something? Man, you going in the woods with stand with a gun? Right. Yeah. I hope he shoots better than he drives. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Now this ain't where I wanted to go. What the world happened here? I think I picked the wrong spot. I ain't Houston yet. Come on, surely undoubtedly not. Yeah, I am too. Golly! Well, here's the garage, boys and girls. 74. I can't believe I made it that fast. Well, this is where we're supposed to be. I know I wasn't supposed to turn there, but I did it anyway. Turn right. Here she bees. It's all over there.
Well, it don't look like much, but this is it. That's it. So we buy this garage. You know, this garage. <laughs> this building on this garage looks like the first, first city hall and police department I work for. It's kind of ratty, just like this. Uh, we did get a, get a better office later on down the road, but uh, it was kind of ratty surroundings. And I think when I first started working for the police department down there, I had a closet office. Uh, but it was a start. Trips go faster when well, there isn't so many trying to wreck you. <laughs> you got that right. Listen, I'm going to tell you all something about Stan. Stan rides the brake like Grandma on Sunday. Uh, you got to watch him every minute uh, of every on the trip because he gon he'll stop right in front of you. He don't give you no warning. If Stan fixes slam on the brakes, he he don't tell you. He just he just locks her up and he'll do it right in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah. Well this garage will be a lot better shape when I we're gonna buy this garage. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this garage. So now it's my garage. All right. So, so I'm going to show you all a little of the ins and outs of this game right now. Uh, so we own the garage. All right. So now what I want to do is I could put a truck over here, and so I'm going to go to. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Garage Manager. Uh, and I'm going to pick the Houston Garage. And I am actually going to upgrade, upgrade this garage. Uh, right now. For $100,000. <clears throat> now, the reason I upgraded this garage is because... I want to be able to put more than one truck in it. Now it's going to do a little. It's going to do a little upgrade to it. It's going to look a little bit nicer than it did before. You're going to hop in the shower soon. Okay. Ah, oh, now she kind of looks more like a garage. <laughs> he said everybody around here drive like Stan. All right. So now we got the garage bought. What I want to do is I'm going to, and it don't take long to go through a bunch of money in this game. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to <clears throat> truck manager. Uh, and I'm going to move uh, my truck. I'm going to relocate the truck. Relocate. What am I relocating? I'm relocating this truck to the Houston garage. All right. This game is on sale for $4.99. Yes, it is. It is, and the Hunter Call of the Wild is on sale for $7.99. Now, let me tell y'all something about that, about the Hunter Call of the Wild. If you're going to buy it, buy it. If you buy it for PC, uh, we can multiplay, and I'm also going to start doing, uh, later on, down the road, I'm going to start doing guided hunts uh, for people. Now, I ain't no Jebba. I ain't going to be able to give you no great ones. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't want to have time to grind one, but we will get you on a nice diamond deer, and I do have time to do something like that, or take you on a guided multiplayer hunt. Either we can do it online, I uh, mean on uh, live, 
or not on live. It's up to you. We'll move this truck to the Houston garage. I got to select a slot. So I'm going to put it right there. Okay, now that I move that truck to the Houston garage, I'm going to also move this truck to the Houston garage. <laughs> Houston garage. Truck 2. Let me catch up on my chat. You able to, yes, pretty much. Uh, I'll show you the map in a minute, uh, Bobby Hill, and welcome. Uh, yes, you had to purchase the maps, but when is the next GT5 stream? I don't play that. I think you're referring to Police Simulator. All right. So, now I have moved through trucks. So, I have to go back down here to uh -uh, Driver Manager. I got a driver here that don't have a truck. We got to fix that. So I'm going to go buy him a truck. Here's where you buy the truck. So we're going to go to a uh, truck dealer. And I'm going to buy a Western Star. Uh... I'm going to go to El Paso and buy a Western Star. So, visit selected dealer. Yes. All right. We've been buying this truck here. Is what we've been buying. This truck's 1000 uh, $118,515. So, I've just been buying this base truck. This truck will do everything I want it to do. Uh, so far. So I'm going to buy this truck. I'm going to put it at the Prim Garage in Vegas. And I'm going to assign it to this guy right here. And the truck is now purchased and is in the garage. Now this... <clears throat> This live stream is not only for your entertainment purposes. Uh, yes, I can actually pick the engine. Uh, in fact, when I did my truck, I put my truck together and picked the engine. I can also sell trucks. I can also paint trucks. I can also add stuff to trucks. Uh, so... <clears throat> I can do a lot of things. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to do <coughs> driver manager. Uh, I'm going to go and right here, and I'm going to relocate myself to the Houston garage. Now, this is a kind of a, a, a entertainment stream for y'all, but it's also an instructional video kind of type thing for people that's trying to build a garage. I'm going to move myself down here. To the Houston garage with my truck. That's done. All right, so I got <clears throat> now. I have Houston garage has got another opening. I got to make some money. Uh, my daily profit from the Las Vegas garage is forty nine thousand. That's my daily profit. Fresno, good to see you. Is there a Tennessee map? Uh, well, let's go find out. In a minute, I sure will. I don't think so. 
Let's look and see what we got, folks. So there is a Texas map. There is a Colorado. No, there is not. Anything east, they've pretty much got the whole west coast done. Anything east is not filled in yet. This is Oklahoma. This is the next map. So my hope is, is that when they keep building maps, that we went west, and now we're going to probably work on central, and then east. And that's probably the way the maps are going to be put together. But everything out here is pretty well, pretty well covered. California all the way up to close to Canada. Uh, so that answers your question on that. All right. So, <clears throat> garage manager. I want to look at that one more time. So I got a full, I got a full crew uh, down here, except one. I got to buy one more truck here. And the Houston garage, I have one driver. This is me. I'm gonna, now, I went down here because they're going to do an Oklahoma map. It's going to come out pretty quick. I'm going to start making loads all over Oklahoma and Texas. And I'll let the AI drivers take care of West. So I can fill these slots up with trucks. This slot here is going to be for my pickup. So when I want to drive the pickup, I just go to this slot, pick this driver, uh, and I'm in the truck. So, I got $98,000. All right, truck manager, I got to go here. I want to put myself back in the, in, the, in the pickup. Drive the truck. I'm in the truck. And we are ready to go. This is a Houston garage. It's bought. Now, let me give thanks to Susquehanna Stan, because he has given me quite a bit of help. Stan has learned a lot about this game in a very short period of time, and he shares everything, which is great, because I can turn around and share with others. So, I got I got to tip my hat to my buddy Stan. He's 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 taught me a lot. Uh, before I just get in and drive for y'all, and that was the show. Uh, <laughs> I wish that I could make a Smurf mobile because I certainly would make a Smurf mobile. Let me see what by if we can get a map where you can drive through the Appalachian Mountains, uh, that would be cool. I would love that. Uh, just to, and that's why I bought this pickup, just to get in it and drive. Uh, can you paint text on truck? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you choked me up. <laughs> I wish I could put. Uh, I wish I could put uh, a text on the truck. I, if they, that's gonna be cool. Uh, because uh, I would like to be able to make an Alvin Lewis lot lizard truck. <laughs> uh, does anyone play on Xbox? I have an Xbox. Uh, that I play for multiplayer. Uh, so yes, uh, I do play on Xbox. Uh, I do play on my computer through the Xbox app. I can, uh, I can uh, cloud play. All right, let's go to Galveston Island. Now that we got this, take all the business taken care of. Okay, so the AI drivers right now are making me money. I'm riding around the country like a fat cat, and they're making me money. Uh, and when we get down to Galveston Island, we'll show y'all some of the other ins and outs. Uh, what's going on, my? My friend Kenneth, Kenneth, I uh, watched your show this morning. 
I just got actually turned it off before I had to go live here. That was a good show last night with with uh, Miss Melissa. I'm sure uh, good to see her up on panel. And uh, uh, y'all, if you would also uh, say a prayer for Mr. Hogleg. He's having a little bit of health issues right now. He's not feeling too good, so let's keep Mr. Hogleg in our prayers. Uh, all right, we're going to go down to Galveston Island. I'm going to run down 45 here. And uh, we're going to just take a ride. And then we're going to go up through here. And we're going to get on the ferry right here. And go across to Port Bolivar. And then depending on time, we may head up 187 and go through Winnie. Just for driving purposes. Uh, all right. I'm going to go down to Galveston Island. I'm going to put the marker right here because I'm going to pull in and get some gas. And I'm learning how to run this doggone map finally. So, uh, <clears throat> Riding the hoverboard. <laughs> uh, you must be younger than us. Drive safe. Ain't, much, ain't many people in this bunch gonna get on no hoverboard, I'm fixing to tell you that. Oh, Abby, good to see you. Abby, Abby. Alright. That was a good, a good show you put on Turn this right. morning, Killer. All right, let's get on down the road here. I hate the rain. Keep left and then turn left. Are you 17? I ain't supposed to turn here. You, I done run run red light. You 17? Yeah, that, that explains it. Turn left. Uh, no, Abbott, I ain't let Stan drive my pickup. What are you talking about? You see the way I joke for drives? Alvin Lewis will tell you he's 17, but you know doggone well Alvin Lewis ain't no 17 years old. Troy, you are 31. Don't let people tell you that you're older. I'm what? <clears throat> I ain't no doggone 31. I wish that. I wish I would. You almost made me say something else. <laughs> Well, if I was 31 years old and know what I know now uh, about life, I would, I'd tear the world up. Can't hard to see this doggone rain. We're going to, have to take our time here now because I'll just mess around and make this truck. He said, I'm trying not to tell you. Well, I know I'm old. I ain't old as some, but I know I'm old. <clears throat> but you don't live 51 years by being stupid. I can assure you that. Why I drive slow? Exit right. 
I got news for you, Abbott. I do a lot of things slow. <laughs> it ain't just driving. I don't, I can't see. Ooh, I like to wreck the bin. That gum rain got to go somewhere. And you just got lucky, Abby. That's pure luck. I can beat you on a golf cart. You might like to do it. Baseball tomorrow at one o'clock. Thumbnails up. But I hadn't decided which game we're gonna play Thursday. We may play Police Simulator on Thursday. I got a new siren box, and it is—it's a mod, and it more doesn't sound sweet. I had to turn it down a little bit in the game setting. That joke was loud. Golly. I'm kind of weaving it in this rain. Right, be catfishing. Wrestling on Thursday. All right. Who wants to see wrestling on Thursday or police simulator? We'll take a vote. Give me a. Take a quick count. And see how many we get. It don't matter to me. I play anything y'all want. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a Brian people. You got to watch him. Oh, Brian, he, you got that little hat on, Brian, little pretty hat? You know, Brian, he, he put that hat on with some, uh, he put that denture glue up there to keep that hat on. I got one for wrestling and one for police. All right, come on, vote. Tell me something. Y'all probably leave it right there and won't tell me nothing. I got to watch what I'm doing. I'll be in the I'll be in the God right now. Alright. I ain't made to do wrestler yet. I gotta get. I gotta do that. I've been. I've been busy on other stuff. Turn left. Be quiet, Abby. <laughs> I've been. I, I, I'm going. I'm, I'm fixing to make the new wrestler, though. I've been. I've been having to do a little research. On that, but the new rascal is coming, and it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Keep left, and then turn left. Ooh, I run the red light. May not. I keep running them red lights. Right, let me whoop in there and get some fuel. And then we go. We're gonna rest to see if we can't get this dog on rain to stop.
I made y'all as authentic as I possibly could. Uh, Eric, both you and Alvin Lewis. Uh, except I didn't know that you weighed 270 instead of 170. <laughs> And I made y'all's, and I and and I take I take offense to that. I made y'all's fighting ability exactly to what it should have been. <laughs> All right, let's go over here and rest so I can get this dog on rain stop. Uh, got to get with Troy in a few and get this game. Oh, you talking about this game here? I ain't nothing to it. Right, let me stop this engine. We're gonna see if we get this dog on range stop. All right, the rain stopped. <laughs> that figures, right? All right. It's a light rain, so. All right, let's get the map drawn up here. We want to ride. We want to ride on down here to ferry. And we're just going to take a slow ride down here. And give a, everything a look when we ride to the ferry. Uh. All right. Ready to roll. You are what? Oh my lord! He said he's a petite featherweight. Yeah. And I'm going to be the Moo Moo model of the year, too. Oh, did you see that? That little, the thing running around down here on this, that's something I noticed yesterday. Little, look at that. Now that joker knows that ain't supposed to be on the road. <laughs> I like to run over one of them yesterday. All right, Stan, we'll see you, brother. Thank you. We're just going to take a slow stroll down here. See what's all this dog got to offer. Go straight on. Ain't nobody trying to be like Stan. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid that. It's a pretty nice looking map. They did a good job with this map. Oh, I like that side swap. I'm trying to give everybody a sightseeing tour, Abby. Be quiet. <laughs> I gotta make the I gotta make the new wrestler. I'm slowing, showing some of his traits. He's talking about me riding the brake, showing some of his traits. How these people gonna see you think if I'm going a hundred miles now? Abby just wants me to wreck. <laughs> Does it look right to you? Does it look right to you? Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, 
it, it really does. I mean, you know, some of the buildings are a little, a little different, but the streets, uh, this, this is what it looks like. This is Galveston showing. A lot of old, uh, you know, of course, they, they're not naming the business the same uh, as uh, for copyright purposes. But yeah, this, this is pretty much what it looks like. Uh, you know, a lot of these old buildings have been flooded out a lot of times. Uh, I think this right up here on the right, this big tall building up here on the right, on uh, Termont Street here is supposed to be the uh, hospital. It is, it says emergency back there. There's the blue water tire. straight on. I'm sightseeing. Be quiet, Alvin Lewis. Stop trying to backseat ride. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Uncle Josh, how are you? Good to see you, Josh. Thank you for coming by. This is 6th Street. You got a few. Yeah, you got a few prostitutes hanging around on this strip. <laughs> turn left. Uh, I'm in the wrong lane. We're gonna have to cut over. We're gonna make this quick too. I missed your comment. He said I. I see how slow you walk, Abby. You ain't gonna pass nobody walking. <laughs> he said, roll down and went to Albert Park. All right. That dog on Alvin Lewis made me run past where I was supposed to go. Looking at his grandma drive faster than this. <laughs> now I got to jump the curve because of Alvin Lewis. Alright, we fixed to get on the ferry. I didn't know you could do this till yesterday. Can't see Uncle Josh. I do know who the Oak Ridge Boys is. I'm surprised you do. Gas station tacos. That's why you got the gas. <laughs> All right. I got to figure out which one of these boats I can get on. This is it right here. And this, if you have never been to the ferry landing, this is exactly what it looks like. To the, to the T. I mean, this is a great replica. We're going to ride this joke across. And they load you on just like this. All right, so we want to ride over to Port Bolivar. Price zero dollars. And it's just going to be a little blowing of the horn. It's not going to be a full boat ride. It would be cool if it was. All right. It takes about 18 minutes when you ride the ferry. Lord, I've been on this thing enough all the time. 
And you unload just like this. Gas yeah, station chicken. Hey, buddy, you about to roll me? Golly, dude. Alright. Let me park right here, man. I'm gonna blow this map up. Eight seven. So we want to go right up through here. We're going to ride on up into Beaumont. Uh, we're going we're gonna to take a ride right on into Beaumont here. Check this out. I want to see what this part of the what this part of the map looks like. I went to school 20 miles from here, 20 miles from Beaumont. I'm fixed to get on the road. Be quiet, Abby. <laughs> uh, oh Lord, Troy, you're driving on the wrong. I know it. I know it. We're going to Wiley World. <laughs> Yeah, we fixed to get on the road now, Brian B. Good to see everybody. Glad y'all here. Baseball tomorrow. And we're still tied up on whether we're going to do the police game or the wrestling game. I got one for police and one for wrestling. But I don't have a new wrestler. I gotta make a new wrestler first. Or for the next mystery. You dog all right. Okay, there's the there's the ocean. And this this is what this joker looks like down here, and I'm fixing to tell you. That's exactly what it looks like. If you've ever been to Galveston Island. In fact, let me just pull over here and give y'all a good look. I can get the top right. That's exactly what it looks like. All rigged out there and everything. And all this is lined with people out there drinking and most time fishing. Uh, that's pretty much what it looks like. A lot of people like to shark fishing. I uh, I have Chris Everett's information, or I have a way to get a hold of him, Uncle Josh. Go straight on. He. There he is. Look at that. I just meant to say he's probably back there watching. Chris Everett's in chat now, Uncle Josh. There's the one gas station in Bolivar. <laughs> I think there's two now. Alright.
go straight on. Well, there's some there's some bikinis out there. Uh oh, I'm reading the app's message like a running day team wheeler. Hold on, stop signs every 10 feet. Keep right and then turn right. He said I'm driving in turtle mode. We fixed it. We fixed to get on the freeway here, Abby. So we fixed to roll this train. I'm going around this bus. He's the dog on slow. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. If I can see, golly, this rain's bad. Alright, here we go, boys and girls. That was the big that was the big town of Fort Bottom. That's just about as much as there is to see too. See what happens when you rush me, Abby. <laughs> Keep left. Keep right and then turn right. Uh oh. You did not I read. <laughs> Dang, Bernie. Golly. I don't buff out. I hope. <laughs> Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Oh! That dog on Abby. <laughs> He's like crawling around like a turtle. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I was gonna have to have a repair. Golly. Come on, get out of the dog on way. <laughs> Well, I guess we better pull a repair shop up here. Golly. Where's the nearest repair shop? All the way back up here. Well, we ain't doing that right now. We're just going to ride with it. I told you this truck... This little truck can run and get away from you in a hurry. 
Would y'all believe that I took a, I'm fixing to cut between these two trucks, see if I can do it. Oh, well, I scratched it a little bit. Would y'all believe that I drove a 2,000 mile trip and only had one little old bitty bump. So my driving's getting better, but driving, I had drove this truck a few days. I've been driving that big truck. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing about having my own trucking company. While my guys are out making me money, I can just sport around and. And uh, y'all thought I was gonna rear in that, did you? And I got plenty of money for gas, uh, for gas and repairs. <laughs> so they have a new game coming out. It is an early access. And if y'all want to check it out, it's called Bean. Uh, I can't think of it now. I'm going to put it on my community page. A link to it. Because I can't remember the doggone name of it. It's going to be a car driving game, and they have got some fabulous crashes in that thing. Exit uh, right. Right, and then turn left. <laughs> he said I puckered up. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you'll make me wreck it again. <laughs> oh my God. Now that's gonna bother me for five minutes. I don't know. Give me just a minute. That's gonna bother me until if I don't <clears throat> I can't remember the name of that doggone game. I look right here. I better tell you in just a minute what the name of it is. Uh, <clears throat> that game is called. Yeah. It's called BeamNG.Drive, B-E-A-M-N-G.Drive. There's Facebook, I mean, uh, YouTube videos about it. That's probably not going to be the name of the game when it comes out. But at any event, it's, they're calling it soft crash technology, where stuff is supposed to really... Um, fly off these cars and all kinds of stuff. So it looks like it's going to be quite fun. All right, we made it. This is the big town of Beaumont. Missy Kennedy. Have anybody ever been to Beaumont? In here. I'm going to tell you something about Beaumont. I live down here at Port Arthur. What in the world was that? And this is the steel company. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go now. And go get this truck repaired and see what kind of damage we got. Thanks to Avid. And that's who I'm blaming it on is Avid. You ain't driving fast enough. <laughs> you know he's goating me in the regular, don't you? Work too.
Yeah. Uh, uh, I lived down there. I went to school down there. And every morning I got up sometime and it smells uh, like a toilet bowl. <laughs> At least it did when I lived there. And uh, and the summertime is just brutal. I mean, it's just brutal. Uh and it's hard on, sometimes it's hard on me anyway because I'm fat. <laughs> but it's brutal. I'm probably fixing to do this again. Oh, did a better job that time. Alright, let's go get this truck repaired. Oh, oh, I would like to turn out of there. I can't see a dog on fine in this rain. Abby wasn't driving. Oh, crap. Ooh, I like to rick the pin. I'd like to see Abby drive his truck on this game. I actually drive the 18-wheeler a lot better now than I did to drive this truck. This truck's a little bit quick for my abilities. <laughs> he said, I understand how the, well, the wheelchair repair guy spends so much time at Troy's house. Well, I don't really wreck it that often, but uh, I, have, I have wrecked up a little bit of stuff. But not too much. Most of it's back repairs. Oh, I can't turn windshield wipers on on this. Not in this setting. That's why I don't have bone. See, they're old. If I'm in the truck, you can see the windshield wipers. This is the way that I generally drive the 18 wheeler in this mode. But I wanted to give y'all a little bit wider view. And it's actually a little easier to drive in this mode. It hugs the road a little bit tighter. It's a little bit less loose on the steering, so I can really kind of get on it. Where I struggle is driving that doggone police car. <laughs> I struggle bad then. I'm taking my weekly bath. You got that right? Golly, this rain's hard. See, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit smoother at driving it with this on this setting. I kind of weave in. He said headlights. He said headlights. Oh, I, I do a good enough job that on my own, Abby. I assure you that. I'm going to split these two cars. Oh, this is going to be hairy right here. Hang on, folks. Try that again. Can I split them? Nope. What enough room? I don't can't do right that now, right? And then exit right. Oh, I gotta exit.
exit drive. I can't, I can't tell you what, I can't. Other people want to see me drive it in this mode. And I can't, I can't do it. I can't control it. It just, it's too wonky. Left, and then turn left. There's no way for me to control that. He said drunk driving. <laughs> Oh, I didn't hit and run a lot of folks today. Turn left. Well, let's go find out how much it's going to It's probably going to cost $1,000 to repair this truck. Keep left and then exit left. Exit left. The truck needs more than alignment. So the police game is getting a lot more, a lot more difficult and getting a lot more bigger and badder crooks. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I need, I done missed the dog on her. Got it, dog. Well, we're going to cheat the system just a little bit here. We're just going to cross the I'll find a new guy. Oh, this may get hairy. Yeah, it did. Nah, damn, I just... I just ride that car over. Keep right and then exit. Let me show you all the horn for this truck. I showed this at first the spring. Now, we just playing now. But look... <clears throat> I'm gonna get... I told my wife that I want to get one of these for my wheelchair. Uh, she told me no. I told her I wanted to get one where I could, when I went to the grocery store, that I could uh, honk people out. I think I need one of them for my wheelchair. Don't y'all? I don't know why that, that woman refuses to let me get one. I don't understand that. I think that would be something I need. <clears throat> when I was making a run for the eggs while it was on sale, I could just lay down on that horn as I streaked down the aisle. <laughs> I think it is too, Annie. <laughs> but I can't convince her of that. She says she just come out of the room and said, "Not gonna happen." Exit you know what's gonna happen, don't you, Abby? She gonna go on a trip out of town. She gonna come back, and I'm gonna have that home. She told me she'd leave me at the grocery store. <laughs> uh, oh my lord! Get me an air horn off Amazon. Right, and then exit right. Well, let's take this joker to the repair shop, see what kind of damage we got. Exit right. It's a good thing I'm a trucking company owner now. I can pay for my repair. This is where it is. Exit Did I pass the dog on time? Why, yeah, I passed it. No, it's right here. Alright. I know she does. It's total. <laughs> I don't think it's total. But it's probably going to be about $1,500. If I can find where to get it worked on that.
a, a old woman hit me up. So I'll run over that old woman's toe too. A woman hit me upside the head with a French roll. I run over her foot. I have no problem with running over somebody's toe. I gotta tell you, I told my wife one time, I said, I'll take ice cream from a small child if nobody's looking. <laughs> Golly, $6,000 worth of damage. See what you call David? He said 4500 It's 6630 I dog on David. <laughs> All right. Well, what time is it? Hey, we got 30 minutes. I'm going to take this truck and teleport it to the Houston garage. And we're going to pick up the big rig and we're going to take a short load. How about that? I can't believe you won't let me get a horn. They said, yeah, well, they want a horn. She says, no horn for Troy. Golly. Hot. I want to fast travel to the garage if I can figure out how to do it. Golly. <clears throat> He said, not me, I wasn't driving. Houston Garage, I want to travel to the Houston Garage. Yep. All right, we're at the Houston Garage. All right, folks. Let's uh, let's switch trucks. We're gonna take a short job. We got time to go for an eighteen-wheeler ride, so I got to go to trucking manager. Uh, I got to put myself in my truck. Drive the truck, yep. Are we in the truck? I drive wheelchair pretty good. Except when I run off the curb at one time, broke my leg. That wasn't smooth. Are you trying to get me killed, Nick? <laughs> Oh, uh, all right, let's take a quick job. We're just going to take a little short run. Earn money. I had not rode my own truck in a long time. Let's see. We're going to go from Houston. How many miles is this? I want to take one shot at that. We're just looking. Hang on. We're going to take a job from Houston. That's too short. We ain't going to Los Angeles. I will take this job right here. Let's take this 128 mile job to Lufkin. All right. So. Time to hit the road. Good Lord, I ain't drove this truck in a spell. I've been having that AI driver driving. He got his own truck now. I think I got get. I got a gas. I got gas pumps. All right. I got my own gas pumps. <clears throat> Good deal.
So I'm going <clears> to <throat> play baseball tomorrow. Y'all come join me at 1 o'clock. And uh, the thumbnail's up with my current record. And we'll talk about tomorrow about what, how I've been doing the last couple of ball games and what the status is. I got to get this out of here, Abby, without wrecking it. And then, so, I'm going to also uh, go ahead and Turn tell you that I'm going to have a little fishing content. Eesh, that was a bump. That Get turned out turn good, left. didn't it? Turn left. Well, I'm just doing all the good today driving, ain't we? All right. I haven't said wrestling. I may have time to. I'm, if I got time, I may. Uh, I may get get on there and make a wrestler. Turn right. I know I had two wrecks. I know I hit. Getting out of them tight spots is a problem. And I hadn't drove this truck in a while. It's kind of touchy. We're gonna have a little. We're gonna have a little fun. Go straight on. Uh, one of these days on the truck driving game. Get ready to turn left. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy another truck to customize. Uh, and we're turn gonna. Left. We're gonna do that together. I'm gonna buy a second truck. To customize. We're gonna. We're gonna do that on live. We're gonna do that on live. We're gonna be able to pick the paint scheme. And Put some add-ons to it and have a little fun with it. All right, let me go get this trailer here. You have arrived at your destination. Your wrap guidance is now finished. <coughs> Take the job. Take this job and shove it. Let's do this. He said I'm missing Stan. Your trailer is ready to be, is at the loading dock. Where are you, trailer? Oh, it's right behind me. Okay. I gotta drive over and get it, and then we'll load up and go. Rerouting. Well, you ain't never lied about Stan being crashed. There's the trailer hiding behind the building on me. That's all to be interesting loading this joker right here. Kenneth's probably thinking this boy here ain't got no chance. Uh, you got when you got a professional. A, a retired professional truck driver watching you play this game, they're probably shaking their head like this boy here is a mess. <laughs> and 
you ain't never lying. All right, I'm gonna hook this trailer up. May not be over further enough. Oh, not quite. I gotta move over just a little bit. I know that's the dog on trail. What's the problem here? <clears throat> Having a hard time getting her coupled up. What is the problem here? Well, the problem is, <laughs> you fool, you trying to hook up to the wrong freighter. Golly. You talk about class clowns now. I got it going on today. I seen that flashing arrow, I thought that was my trailer. It's not. This is it right here. Golly, y'all. He said I must be drinking. Y'all ought to see me drink dry this wheelchair. All right, we got the trailer now. I heard old Kenneth back there shaking his head like, boy, oh boy, this boy here ain't got a chance. Yeah, I seen that flashing arrow up there. I thought it was the same trailer, but it wasn't. Get ready to turn right. Are we out of there now with it? Turn right. Once I get it out on the road, it won't take that long to look at this load dropped off. All right, here we go. Go straight on. Troy needs to start using the mirrors to the back of. Well, you look I can back it at all. <laughs> That's now now Steve Adam when he when he backs it up, I had to get on the other day and help him get a couple things figured out. But when he backs it up, he does use the mirrors. I can't do that. I can't see. <laughs> he said he knocked him off already. You ain't never lied. All right, boys and girls, we on the road. Get ready to turn left. Get ready to turn left, she says. Turn left. Appreciate it, damn river boys. Good to see you. Turn right. Get ready to turn right. 
God, dog. Turn right. There's always a lot of right left turns on this. I wonder if he could make an Eminem wrestler. <laughs> yeah, I got the next victim picked out already. I sure do. I'm going to have to see if I can get around to doing that. If not, it will be next Thursday. I need some time. I want to make a good, authentic wrestler. I don't like to be rushed. I like to be able to take my time because I want it to look good. It took me like, it took me like probably two hours to to get yours, uh, Eric, made like I wanted to. Had to go, had to go through and look Keep through a, left, and then exit a numerous outfits and exit change left. the type of material that the outfit was. Well, I do a lot to it. But I want to make sure this next exit person right. that he does and justice to him. Right. Exit right. <laughs> he said Curtis had licked the phone. Hey, uh, how is Curtis? Feeling anyway. Lewis. Oh my God. Boy, oh, sure is nice to be back driving my truck. This truck will go. That dog on, them dog on rental trucks sometime. Time you get them up to speed limit, it's time to exit. I'm rolling, look here. No way I ain't supposed to be driving no 20 mile an hour over speed limit. Take me long to get this load. At this rate, I'm moving. Don't you turn out in front of me. Y'all taking bets on how long it's going to be before I wreck, huh? Eric says eight minutes because I'm driving fast. I know what he thinks. As long as nobody turns out in front of me, we're in good shape. If they turn out in front of me, it's going to get ugly quick. Because I can't shut it down that fast. But 
I mean, we're going 91 miles an hour right now. I'm rolling. He said, don't be hitting no church buses. Lord, have mercy. Could you imagine? Keep right and then exit right. All right, I got to shut her down. I got to exit here. Oh, Lord, look at this. Exit right. Well, I can't, lady. They gonna detour me. Golly. Finding a new route. That doggone joker sitting up in the middle. Hey, it is the other guy's fault. Turn left. <clears throat> I just like y'all. It's just like y'all blaming me for uh, for your wrestlers uh, not performing well. Y'all, y'all blame me for making y'all. Uh, Making you not authentic. I can't hear because y'all weak. <laughs> oh my goodness. Turn left. I can't hear because y'all can't fight while the dog out. Oh, I love blaming you, Abby. Yeah, you, because you back there, you back there, you back there pumping it up. I like to put the blame off on you. Abby, them chicken wings that you made that air fryer show look good. You're going to make me go buy an air fryer. I need to be air frying something with all this fat problem. My God, I need to quit eating fried food altogether. Keep right and then exit right. Oh, I don't know. I know you ain't weak. <laughs> exit right. <clears throat> well, everybody's going, after I get Keep done right making all these. And then turn left. Rasters, everybody's gonna get turned up to where they should be, Turn and we're gonna left. have one big Royal Rumble. I'm gonna put everybody in the same doggone ring, and we're gonna fight it out. See who the Royal Rumble of the Catfish Community Turn winner right. is. Turn left. Yeah, I need to. I've been telling my wife that I'm going to get one. Uh. If, see, I like chicken like you fixed the other night on your video. That, that looked good. I need to get one. I might just order one have it delivered. Let me read. Let me read Damien's. Don't be. <clears throat> I'm going to sneak up behind you while you locked up with Curtis and Eric Abbott and throw you over the rope. What happened, Lewis Wright? You got us so low on the ability score in wrestling that we couldn't even... <laughs> That is untrue, Albert Lewis. That is untrue. I have got y'all so low uh, on the score that y'all couldn't even beat a toddler. 
And you know why, don't you? Because <clears throat> I don't know how to play the doggone thing worth the hoot. <clears throat> so that tells you what that tells you what kind of boat I'm in if I had to lower y'all that much to be able to beat you. Keep right and then exit right. Exit. I got so many doggone games that I play. I've got about maybe uh, a day a week to work on a project. Keep right and so then turn right. I've been working on a trucking game trying to get it built up. Because, uh, look at here. Look, it's a chicken hood. Uh, I've been working on a trucking game trying to get it built up. Turn right. So, I hadn't even, I hadn't even played the police game, believe it or not. I, I got in there and, and checked the new siren box out yesterday. But I've been working on this truck game and playing the baseball game a little bit. <clears throat> Keep left and then turn left. He said, yeah, it's your game. You get to be the hero. Well, I got to tell you, and it's because I don't know how to play the dog on fire. Because when I made uh, y'all's character, I, uh, when I made yours, of course, you were the first, you were the first victim, so to speak, Alvin. But when I made y'all's character, I got in the ring with you and you kicked the snot out of me. <laughs> And I'm thinking, I can't have this. I got to turn Alvin Lewis down. He tough. Uh, so, and then I had the same thing happen to me with Eric. I got in there and Eric, he, he whooped me good. I'm like, no, I can't have this. That's because I don't know how to play the dog on by. Alright. Let's see what we made. That was an excellent run. Didn't make a doggone thing time I go pick the What you say? <laughs> what she say? She said something about something about Jig for the Lord. Have mercy. Well, it disappeared. Okay. He said, it's, <laughs> he said, sure, you won't show that video. <laughs> uh, Uh, I see your your message come up on it's on the TV, but it disappeared. Chat, but I see what you wrote. You and Abbott better hire y'all some employees. What I look like to y'all? <laughs> All right, let's drive over here and get repairs, and then. Now that I'd have wrecked a truck. Uh, no, I ain't gonna show that. But Well, I didn't make a video, but you sure kicked the devil out of me. I'll say that for you. Ready to roll. <sighs> oh, you went to say Alvin. Okay. It only it only it disappeared on me. Me and Alvin. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that, I misread that. It disappeared in my box down here on OBS and I looked up seeing it on TV. I thought it was I thought it said Alvin. You and Alvin you and Alvin Lewis better go hire y'all some help. What I, I let me tell you something. I gotta get over and I do have to get over and tie some jigs. Uh sometime. My brother's wanting jigs. Uh, he don't know it, but I've got some put aside. Because I figured that vulture was going to ask me for jigs. 
and I'm gonna give him some. Hello, Annette. He wants jigs. Uh, Turn right. I told her the other day. I said, "Dog, go on. Everybody, everybody in the world ties jigs now." Uh, he. Uh, I said, "Good Lord!" I said, "You ain't got to depend on me to tie them, Lord. Everybody, oh, I gotta have some of your jigs." Uh, and uh, I said, "Some of my jigs." He said, "Yeah, I gotta have some of your jigs." And I said, oh, "Why? Everybody else ties jigs." Oh well, I just want some of yours. I know he almost cried. I mean, he wrote hell. He almost cried when he asked me for them jigs. I hope he's listening. So I'm going to tie you some jigs because I know you almost cried because I know you're afraid that something happened to me one of these days and you won't have anything from your hero. <laughs> if he's listed, he's going to call me later and cuss me out. <laughs> so I got some jigs for him. He don't know it, but I had some put aside already. But Ben, you almost cried, Dal. I'm gonna make you those jigs. Jebba, good to see you, Jebba. I've been working on that Discord, Jebba. So I got my logo in place, I got my background in place. I think I made a private voice chat, I invited you to it, hopefully I did. Okay, let's find a new route. <clears throat> no, I didn't run over everything in the world with two trucks. We're gonna take we're gonna take a ride up here to repair a shop. It's gonna be a quick ride too. I'm fixing to get after it. Don't you pull out in front of me, you little old truck. I hope we don't wreck this joker. Ooh Lord, this thing's tight. I thought I was going to lose it right there, didn't you? Uh, we're supposed to be going to 75, but we're going to go, we're going to go 85. Yeah, I need to. I need to, I need to, I need to get with you and get you to help me figure out all that stuff that we're doing so I can uh, know what I'm doing. I, I, I've learned quite a bit, but I need to. It's the getting the odds and ends out. Okay, folks. So um, while I'm making this drive up here, Lord, be with me. Don't let the don't let the 18 wheeler pull out Go in front of me. Up. Look, Lord, there's a bus. <clears throat> I'm making a Discord. Uh, some of you's probably like, what? Uh, so, uh, We'll be able to uh, communicate through Discord. If you've got Discord, you could uh, come on a voice channel and we could just talk, or you could watch me play a game or something when I'm not live. And I plan on doing some of that stuff. Keep right and then turn right. Come on, let me over, buddy. Come on now. Turn right. <sighs> we 
do you say? Didn't help with the lawsuit with Alvin's health. <laughs> Go straight on. Y'all go. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Y'all go be think it's funny one of these days when I show up on here with a real and virtual outdoors moo moo. He said, I both go around them. Lord have mercy. Get ready to turn left. Turn Y'all will go to the junkyard bin. <clears throat> I think we ought to start a I think y'all ought to start a YouTube channel. Ooh, Lord, did y'all see that? Oh! That didn't turn out too good. I think y'all ought to start a YouTube channel together, Alvin. Alvin and Missy need to start a YouTube channel. Uh, something like a, a, a Sanford and Son. Uh, <laughs> we could call it. Uh, we could call it. I, I'd have to think of a name. I'll have a name thought up for it by next week, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't. I'll have to think of a name for that. Go straight on. <clears throat> Sanford and Son. Good night. There you go, right there. Alvin and Gal. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Uh. Oh, Lord. You thought I was going to rear him, didn't you, Abbott? I disappointed you, didn't I? Uh, Alvin and Gal. Boy, that's sad. That is funny. Uh. Well, we're getting on time now that I'm going to be able to start doing a little bit of fishing. So. Uh. I'm going to, when we get ready to go down there and maybe do a little pontoon boat fishing, I'm going to put a, a link up on my YouTube channel for uh, our second channel, which be for me and my brother. He was trying to read the bumper sticker. I, I read it too. Uh, <clears throat> and we're gonna try to get start working towards getting ready to do some lives. Me and him on our our channel that we're doing together. It's called Reels on Wheels. And then I'll have some fishing content on, content on this one too, but that'll be me going out on the on the uh, dock fishing. The one we do with reels on wheels will be him and I fishing adventures. And exit right. Uh, Steve Ransom, good to see you, sir. Exit right. Lizard towing. Oh my god. Go straight on. <sighs> That's probably what it said too. If you if and you can read this, you're too close. Turn left.
There'll be plenty. There'll be plenty of scrap then if it's from my Rex. Oh my goodness. We right up here now at the uh, repair shop. I hate to even see this bill. And then turn right. Well, Troy drives, everybody's insurance rate goes up. But I wonder if Dow going to let turn me drive right. the boat. He probably not going to let me. <clears throat> Just a little bit outside on that turn. I bet Dow don't let me drive his boat. What you want to bet? He probably had to go. Let me look at the steering wheel on that boat. It's all over now. That's why I need to be going right there. Open the gate, Mama. Daddy's home. There you go. Well, let's see what this cost. This doggone truck ain't cheap to fix. God, no. That was a wasted run. <laughs> I didn't make very much money on that run. Let's teleport this joker back to the garage. <clears throat> garage manager. Uh, I want to go back to the Houston garage. Well, we did a we we bought a garage. Let's see what Missy says. Slightly bent. <laughs> Five thousand. Five thousand dollars, Abby. I wanna, I wanna see what this is up here. I don't know what this. This baby used the garage. Let me see. Pull up on this. Oh, yes, yeah, where the garage manager's at. Uh, so, Stan says that you can hire a mechanic to work on your truck. Uh, I probably need that. I'm just looking at the garage. Now, I can buy a trailer for this truck. And I hadn't got into that portion of it where your loads, you make more money on your loads. Here's my gas station. Let's, let's try the gas station out. I don't even have to worry about filling up. Now I just pick up my truck. Let's try this. <laughs> he said I might need five mechanics. Let's try this. Oh yeah, that's sweet. All right, is my gas any cheaper? I think it's cheaper. Really? Got my fish poles in the back. All right. So, excuse me, let's recap now. We got, I need to get a little, I need to get, make a little bit more money. I got to get a driver and a truck for this spot here. And then I got to fill this garage up. 
average daily profit. I lost money on that trip. One mechanic for every truck. Well, luckily, I don't drive all these trucks. But let's just look at the income uh, for these uh, driver manager. Let's look at the income for these folks. See, he's bringing, he's bringing in good money. You got to watch these guys because some of these guys don't drive too good, unlike me. And you got to uh, you got to keep an eye on them. You start losing money on them, you got to get rid of them. See, he's bringing in money, and this one's bringing in money. Yeah, knew that was. I, this girl right here, she's been bringing in a lot of money. She lost a little money from me on the first job, and after that, she's doing good. So, my daily profit on this garage. I ain't hiring Stan. Have you seen the way that Joker drives? My daily profit. From this garage is $48,000. And my daily profit on this garage is a loss because I lost money on that trip. But in any event, how much do I got to pay on my loan? We'll see you, Kenneth. I owe $69,000 on my loan. All right. Just want to check all that out. All right. Well, <clears throat> baseball to bar. One o'clock. First pitch probably around 110, 113. And as the famous Parky Pig would say, well, let me give you all one more little sample before we go. As the famous Porky Pig would say on his cartoon, ah, bleep, 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 bleep. that's all, folks. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock for baseball.